Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So, I have another movie review for you. And this is a movie that I actually just finished watching. And this is Tom and Jerry. It actually opened today in theaters and on HBO Max. So, basically the plot of this movie is that you have Chloe Grace Moretz, who plays Kayla and she gets a job at a hotel when there's a major event happening you'll have to see what that event is but chaos ensues when you have Jerry the mouse and Tom the cat meet up and Tom is enlisted to remove Jerry from the hotel. And then you see all the misadventures. So some of the other cast that you have in here is you have Terrence, who is Kayla's boss, who is really suspicious of her. And he is played by Michael Pena. And then you have Ken Jeong, Ken Jeong, who is on The Masked Singer, and I Can See Your Voice, and The Hangover Movies, and Dr. Ken. All of those, he plays Chef Jackie, so he has a little role in there. And it's actually, and it's directed by Tim Story, which before I tell you his credits, it's interesting because you have a Penguin announcer in this movie. And that is also played by Tim Story, but a different Tim Story. So this, the director Tim Story, has directed 2002's Barbershop, 2004's Taxi with Queen Latifah and Jimmy Fallon, 2005's Fantastic Four, and 2014's Ride Along. So, before I get into what I thought, I thought this kind of was interesting. That this is the first live action slash animated Hanna-Barbera movie since 2010 when Yogi Bear came out. So, I thought this movie was good and enjoyable for what it was. But it's not great. But let's... And this is neither positive... No, I'll save it for the positives. Okay. So, on the negative side... It... I knew the... I knew the story. But it was still wasn't a great story. And the acting wasn't that great. Maybe because it's for... Uh, it's for kids and families. And the biggest con is that this is not made for theaters. This is made for streaming only. It's it's not a theater movie. But there were some positives. First positive, which I was debating whether to put on here, is the infusion of live action and animated. It takes you a little while to get into it, but after 10-15 minutes... You don't notice, I mean, you notice the difference, but, like, it's not as big of a difference. And, again, it was enjoyable for what it was. And I did, like, it, my favorite scene, though, had to be, it was a chase scene near the end with Tom and Jerry. And that, and that's all I'm going to say. But, overall, I'm going to give this a 2. A two out of five. Again, good, but not great. Well, that is my review for 2021's Tom and Jerry. Come back next time for another review. This is Moon Fan Z signing off. Have a good day.